Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and I hope everybody is doing great. If you're looking for fun, engaging and interactive activities to do with your kids, with the stuff available at home and help them think out of the box, this is the right space for you. All you have to do is just subscribe and hit that bell icon. All right guys, so this is part three of the video, how to write a story or how to help kids to frame a story or write an essay paragraph or uh, any kind of uh, story writing. So I'm linking up part one here and part two and also both the links are right in the description box below. So before um, I get going, I'm sure by now uh, your list of ideas are ready. You, you've narrowed, narrowed down to what you're writing. You have a picture right in front and then you have the situation. And now the next step, which is the fifth step is um, it's time for you to plan your story. Okay, so this is what we've been working on in the last two videos. And this is exactly what we need. We need to plan our stories. So I hope if you've already seen number one and number two, you already know the starfish that I really like. Okay, and I'm definitely keeping this one with me. So my story is definitely revolving the starfish. And I was thinking that if I have to create a problem now, the problem has to be big enough okay and um, I have to start with something really exciting okay so either it could be that the starfish is under the coral reef or it's in an aquarium okay so let me just say that the starfish is underwater okay and um, the first line could be the sea monster scares the fish okay or there's a big sea monster which is um, swimming around um, the corals okay and then the sea monster's tail has cracked one of the coral reef. Um, then by making the problem worse and worse, what are the things that you can add on? So you definitely remember we have to introduce our character, okay, in the beginning. Try and make a situation that the starfish is having a good time with the friends. Remember like last time I mentioned already a couple of things. Now it's uh, time to add more details. So what we're going to do is so starfish needs another friend to help. We could say either a mermaid, we could say uh, a unicorn owly fish. If you could just create another character, that would be pretty cool. And uh, by making the problem worse, we could just say um, lasso the sea monster or uh, think something that until finally your character thinks of something to do. So like if, if there's a sea monster that's coming around, starfish and the owl they need to do something together right they have to solve the problem so to solve the problem they are like having a discussion and they're coming up with a brilliant idea where it's like they are saying they are going to use the seaweed rope to lasso the dragon and i think that's a brilliant thing but how are we going to write it in the words okay so um the starfish so i wrote a couple of lines and i'm going to read that to you the starfish grabbed a seaweed plant and quickly tied into a lasso she twirled it around her head and waited for the sea monster to surface. As soon as he popped up, she threw the kelp as hard as she could. The lasso sailed through the air and landed around his skinny neck. The sea monster was captured. Okay, so if you would see, I have really, um, the text is really in detail and you have all these small information because this is the step six. You have to write your story with so much detail that readers can read and imagine it in their mind. So the step one was it's time for you to plan your story. So you have to see how you start. Okay, what's the beginning? Are you introducing your characters first as friends or are you showing showcasing the scene? Because by now you already know where your story is going to be taking place. Then your next step, which is write your story with so much detail. That's what exactly I read that you have to talk about the problem. And when you finally finish your first draft, take a break. Okay, so like if you've already written all these points, I would say take a break, just go for a walk or do something else and come back uh, a little later because you, you need to build on those ideas. You need to make sure that you are building over and over again. This, uh, like you're reading it, you're building more ideas. And uh, when you take a break, you come back, you have a fresh uh, set of eyes all over again and you might add little more details okay so the next step is going to be read through your story and make a list of ways to make it better so now you've already created that there is a problem with the starfish okay 
there's a sea monster the friend is helping to catch the sea monster okay so that's the story plot we're looking at and my story is going underwater so and your story could be in the aquarium like that's totally up to you how your sto story is gonna go um okay so the couple of questions that we can ask to better the story is what if lassoing the sea monster doesn't work so like they i just thought maybe lassoing is gonna help right but it's not what other animals at the aquarium or at the or under sea can help it could be an octopus it could be sharks it could be um, it could be uh, sardines it could be it could be what else mm, seahorses anybody can help right we just know we just don't want this or maybe with this we need more help so we're gonna call out for help okay add details about the sea monsters rage like he splashes he's thrashing he whips his tail so you're adding more um, adjectives you're adding more verbs to what they're doing so you're going to be using your grammar here to describe what the sea monster is doing and how is it affecting and how is it a problem for you and make sure that you have these drawings or some points that you're writing it um, how about if we say that sea monster likes to hear a song and then the sea monster goes to sleep okay that could be one of the possibility the other possibility could be uh, what if I'm throwing the lasso or the owl unicorn um, is throwing the lasso and the lasso breaks and like the sea monster just escapes and you're still trying to get you save yourself. So there are many permutations and combinations that you're looking at. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to be reading aloud your story that you've written so far okay, to your friends, to your family so that you get their opinion and uh, they notice all these small details and they can actually help you to uh, figure out if you need some more uh, if you need more editing or if you need to rephrase a sentence or if your spellings uh, don't worry about the spellings but because they can this is like once you are reviewing in the end that's when you can like check your spellings and the grammar um, so let me let me tell you one more thing okay in this <clears throat> Some other animals came to help. Do you want to add more details here? Like help, the, the starfish shouted, okay? So they needed help, remember? So they are like under attack by the sea monster. She couldn't hold on much longer. Just in time, a school of sardines arrived. They swam silver circles around the sea monster to confuse him while an octopus raced in the moor kelp lasso and tied, his up, and tied him up. Sharks! The mermaid calls. So like they are showing that how all the sea animals are working together to uh, form the story. Okay. Uh, now, when you finish revising all your story, it's time for you to have a captivating. Um, okay. Captivating title, right? So make sure that you have a captivating title. Make sure that you're reading through. I'm just like going through the notes that I've written and I'm just... So make sure that every every letter starts with a capital letter. It ends with a punctuation. If you're not sure how to spell a word, this is the good time to check because your story is almost ready. Okay, in a flash, two great white sharks answered the mermaid's call. She lassoed them to catch a ride. Together, they grabbed the sea monster's ropes and leaped over the edge of the tank so like they have shown in the end the sharks have helped them and uh, the starfish has really asked for help and like all the sea animals have come to help and they've been able to catch the sea monster in the end but you can see that you have you're going to start by introducing the characters okay then you have to make sure that you're introducing the characters in the in the set that you have thought for then you have to talk about the problem how the problem is getting worse and then what's the solution and the steps and if you need help you need to add all those points right there okay now you have to look for the title of the story and my title was that what i thought was starfish um the the unicorny the unicorny and um, and the sea monster so it's just very simple like because I know there are three main characters here or if you want to change the main character from here I would just say the sharks starfish sharks and the sea monster that would be like super great so this this is a long process but trust me this is the best process to do it so then the the starfish the sharks and the sea monster flew out and 
splash uh, out of the aquarium or out of the situation and they went for diving share your stories with a friend or two maybe with a lot of friends so this is the time when you share your story and when your story is over everyone's gone start searching for a new idea that wants to be written so make sure that you keep doing the same process over and over you might think it's exhausting but all of them can be done at one time so just take like three or four days to have the whole process done and make sure that you're writing all your ideas and if you need more help just let me let me know guys so if you like this detailed version guys give me a thumbs up make sure that you subscribe and do leave a comment thanks for watching guys see you next time